Today we're gonna to be testing three three ingredient keto friendly recipes and they're all having to do with dessert. One of the most popular videos on our channel was us testing two ingredient recipes, but funnily enough, we ran out of those. So now we're doing three ingredients. So if you guys have any two or three ingredient keto friendly recipes that you want us to try, please comment below because we run out after this video. And if you have not subscribed already, because we know that 43% of you are not subscribed, please do because we are really hoping to hit 100,000 subscribers so that we can get our YouTube silver play button. The first three ingredient keto friendly recipe that we're gonna try is by kirbyscravings.com and is a three ingredient keto friendly lemon brownie. It looks super simple and so I'm excited to try it. You only need three ingredients which are keto friendly white chocolate chips, lemon juice, and eggs. We're gonna be using Lily's white chocolate chips for this recipe. These are our favorite type of keto friendly white chocolate chips. We will link it down below and they melt really nicely and they taste really good. So for this recipe, we squeezed out the juice of two lemons. It's approximately two ounces of lemon juice, which is about four tablespoons. We have three eggs in this bowl. We're gonna start beating our eggs for about eight minutes until they become nice and foamy. That took a long time. I beat these with a hand mixer for eight minutes. I melted our white chocolate chips in the microwave for about 45 seconds, stirring them midway. Now we're gonna fold in our welted white chocolate chips into our eggs. And we're gonna fold them in one third at a time. So this looks fully combined now. I'm going to be adding in our lemon juice, carefully stirring it in until it's incorporated completely. We're gonna be pouring it into our eight by eight inch baking dish that's been lined with parchment paper. We're gonna put this in the oven for 25 minutes at 350 degrees. And while those are in the oven, we're gonna talk about the sponsor of this video, Element. Element is a delicious electrolyte drink mix with everything that you need and nothing that you don't. That means lots of salt and no sugar. Element contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Sarah and I drink Element every single day. That's because when you go into ketosis, you shed a lot of water, and inside that water are your electrolytes. Element replenishes your electrolytes so that you feel better. We absolutely love the way Element tastes, and we have been drinking it for years, way before they started sponsoring videos on our channel. And our favorite flavors are citrus salt, raspberry salt, and orange salt. Right now, Element is offering our community a free sample pack with any purchase. It looks like this so that you can try all the flavors. That's eight single serving packets of Element for free with any order. This way you can try all the flavors or share some with a salty friend. In order to get this deal, you must go to drinklmnt.com slash keto twins. Thanks so much to Element for sponsoring another video on our channel. Sponsors really do help keep our channel going and thanks to you guys for supporting our sponsors. It smells lemony in here. I'm really excited. Let's check it out. It looks ready. Hmm. Yellow. So this looks really good. We are going to sprinkle a little bit of powdered allulose on top to give it that frosted feel. And then we're gonna go downstairs and try it. Here we have our three ingredient keto friendly lemon brownies. I would say that they are a bit soft. Maybe we didn't cook them long enough. Possibly. Um, maybe five more minutes or even 10 more minutes would have been preferable. They're kind of wet. Hmm. I like the consistency. Mm -hmm. It's not too lemony. I think that some lemon desserts really like punch you in the face with the lemons, but I like the light lemon flavor. The sweetness is really good. Hmm. I actually really like it. Mm -hmm. For a three ingredient recipe, I think this is great. I'm very happy with it. Very good. We would definitely recommend this recipe. All the recipes are going to be linked in the description. Next up, this one looks really tasty. It's by Keto Zerts. I actually found this recipe on TikTok and she referenced this recipe, which was actually on YouTube. It's for three ingredient coconut cookies. You're gonna need three ingredients for this recipe. One of them is going to be shredded or desiccated coconut. I was able to find finely shredded coconut on Amazon. You're gonna need egg whites. You're gonna need a granular sweetener of your choice. We're gonna be using allulose because that's what we prefer, but you can use erythritol. Okay, so I have my room temperature egg whites in a bowl, and now I'm gonna be adding in my powdered allulose. We just have some extra allulose that we had on hand that we, you know, powdered. And so I'm gonna to try to use that up in this recipe. And pretty much all you do is mix those together and you whisk them and then you're gonna add in your shredded coconut. Seems pretty easy. So far. So far. Allulose is not as sweet as erythritol, so we're gonna be going in with one cup of powdered allulose to substitute the erythritol because you want a little bit more allulose because it's not as sweet. So in the TikTok and in the video, they used an ice cream scoop 
No, like they use like a melon baller to get like nice, perfect balls. I don't have that. I have this, which is not a ball. So we're gonna be using this and I think I'm gonna try to like shape it into a ball so that we can get a nice consistency with our shape so they all bake evenly. Oh. Half moon. Hmm. I don't think that these are gonna spread that much, but I'm gonna give them a little bit of distance. You should be able to get about 10 cookies according to the recipe, so we'll see where we are. Uh-oh, she's running out of room. Where will Sarah put it next? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to press down all my cookies to make them nice and flat so that they cook evenly. And then we're gonna put them in the oven at 330 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna check on them halfway through. So our coconut cookies have been in the oven. We checked them around 15 minutes and we didn't think that they were good enough. So we left them in like a couple additional minutes and now I think they're too brown. I'm gonna pull them out though and show you guys. Whoa. Hmm. 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 Maybe a couple things went wrong here that I can guess. One of them is that you we, made them. Other than that, I used egg whites from the carton, and I was estimating about nine tablespoons of egg whites uh, for this recipe since it was three large eggs. Maybe that was too much. So maybe I added too many egg whites and it resulted in them being too wet and that's why they kind of look like this. But anyway, we're gonna put them off to the side to cool and then we're gonna go downstairs and try them. Here we have our three ingredient keto coconut cookies. They do have a bit of a brown sticky part underneath, which I don't mind. I mean, I actually like Almond Joy. So right. maybe I'll try, I like this. Hmm, I like it. Super moist inside still. I think we added the right amount of sweetener in there. Not too much. I think that if you made these into almond joy shapes and then put little almonds and then dipped them in chocolate, although in the past we have had our issues with chocolate. Mm, true. Um, in theory, that to me would taste almost exactly like an almond joy. Mm -hmm. Or maybe just halfway dip. Sometimes you just halfway dip mm -hmm. cookies in chocolate. That would be really good. But mm. I really like it. They're soft. Two. Do we have to make this last one? Yes. We had three three ingredient recipes. Listen, I don't want to make this next recipe. No shade to the creator of this recipe um, at Team Terry Keto on TikTok, but I just don't see how this is gonna taste good. But here we are. Three ingredients you're gonna need are mozzarella cheese, blueberries, and whipped cream. I'm gonna be creating a crepe-like shape onto my pan with a thin layer of shredded mozzarella. We're gonna let that melt. And then we're going to be putting blueberries lining the center and kind of fold it over to create a crepe made of cheese. Starting to brown up on the edges. Visually my tryptophobia, which is a fear of holes, uh, clusters of holes, um, generally find discomfort looking at like holy stuff holy stuff it's got to be like little holes it signals that there's something not right i can show an example of uh tryptophobia i mean it's not like i'm i am semi-repulsed but it's not like i'm running away screaming it's just something about my brain processes this as abnormal and that i should not be eating it however we will be. We will be because we don't have any more three ingredient recipes to try or two ingredient recipes to try. So when times are tough, this is uh, what you gotta do. Okay, it's brown and now I'm gonna put my blueberries in and start rolling it up. Yeah, no. Okay. It's too nonstick. It's like do that. Sarah, you are on your own with this one. No. Keep rolling. Do I roll this way or this way? Uh, yeah, I roll that way. This way? Yeah. Eh, no. Yeah, that looks great. No. 
Is that exactly what it's supposed to look like? Okay. Do you want to split one? Please. We're going to top it with some whipped cream, and then Sarah's going to go downstairs and try it. Emily is too. The whipped cream has fallen. Collapsed. There is zero desire to try this right now for me. <laughs> um, literally zero. Well, we've eaten chopples with sweet things on it, and that worked out, so maybe it'll be the same. It's not like we're using Swiss cheese. That's true. It could be worse. So we're just going to split this one. Go ahead, Emily. Do the honors. It's hard. So it does harden. Don't like cheese room. hardens after Here, it cools. Stay, stay. This is vile looking. <laughs> I'm sorry. And we did use like just regular whipped cream here. It does have like one carb per two tablespoons. So you could use like a keto friendly whipped cream or make your own, but Why we is just it so hard. We just like to have it on hand and we don't use that much and it's just like a carb. Please so. put more on here. I'm afraid. <laughs> if I didn't know what it was, I think that I would be less revolted. I think you can tell what it is. Three, one, two, three. Not bad. What? I think we went a little thick with the cheese layer. It needs to be thinner. I don't like it. You don't like it? Mm -mm. <laughs> we have someone down under, under the table that wants it. He can I don't have mind it. it. Really? But to me, this is just it's kind like, of like tangy. It, oh. Tanginess with the blueberries and the whipped cream. I'm a berries and cream type of person. Love the combination of that. So. I am not repulsed by this, like Emily. Bon appetit. Well, I don't want it to like go to waste. We rarely get to see people get rarely get to see them. By the way, together. Mm -hmm. This is Oliver, and this is Henry, and they are my twelve-year-old brother, litter mate, Chinese crusteds, mm -hmm. the sweetest creatures that ever lived. They're all right. Not bad. I don't mind it. But maybe you should try it and see if you like it. Well, the first two, Emily liked. The last one, kind of hit or miss. I didn't mind it, Emily. It was a no. But if you guys try these recipes, let us know if you end up liking them in the comments below. We would love to hear from you guys. If you like this video, you're definitely going to like this one over here. We actually tested out two ingredient recipes, one less. And we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Sarah. And I'm Emily. And, and we, we are, are the Keto Twins, signing out. out.